Hi everyone, it's me once again. Hope you're well. Um, I have another interesting robot. So unlike Vector, which only express his facial expression through the cartoony eye, uh, there's a robot that has more, way more detailed expression that looks like a crash test dummy in some way, but flaps his uh, lips and um, you could actually program it and etc. So you, you can see that like, previous video was about hand just robots, more detailed than vector. This is a robot that has a facial expression that you can control and words I presume. And it's in the crowdfunding available at Kickstarters um, and it's called Pico. So we're gonna play the video and just wanna see how you guys respond to it, comment and etc. I haven't actually decided to uh, pledge my support on it yet, but let's see what you say and we'll see how it goes. So here it goes. Okay, so this is Pico, uh, an expressive little robot head, as you can see, and it has so far 4,909 pounds. The goal is 30,000. There's 60 backers way more than uh, the other robot uh, bot bit um, and 52 days to go as well so not like 16 days but 52 days as well so we've got still got time and uh, there's a YouTube video available you can see a bit of this uh, is it Python um, coding and etc and um, creating with Pico there's programmable personality uh, cloud, cloud brain as well so you get some defaults uh, Obot app. Um, okay, so these are the similar Python ones, isn't it? Expressive eyes and speech recognition, which is really good. Touch sensitive nose. All oh, right, so yeah, it has a nose. Brilliant. <laughs> Expressive mechanical mouth, uh, multilingual text to speak. So not only English, but I guess there will be different languages available. Real time programming, color change in, in the base. Oh, you can see that color change on the base. Well, I don't know whether that's it. So Python control library as well. So let's look at the video and see how it goes, what you guys think. So here it goes. Right. <laughs> that's quite cute. assistance we're doing a kickstarter why the humans need our help there are more robots than ever hooray for robots yes but the humans think robots it's are prototype. complicated it's a bit messy you isn't it how we work ha 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 that's funny <laughs> the humans are complex we are surprisingly simple correct we've been designed to let humans code our robot brains our block based robot software makes it easy for anyone All to right. program us Brilliant. and create their own unique robot personality so it's like IFTTT, isn't it? Oh, if wow. you say something, isn't that the smartest, it will most respond. beautiful robot you've ever seen? Hey, stop that! See, complete okay. control. So you could make me a disco bot. Nice. That could be a good party feature, right? An angry bot. The cutting of the plastic is a bit rough, isn't it? You can see Perhaps that sticking speak. out. Like this. Oh, right. Different voices. Just this. Or a human will record a voice for me to use. Exact amount. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, that's very good. Security that? system. I'm expecting a parcel. These sensors we have allow us to interact with humans and their surroundings. Oh, it's very tiny. Hey, that's my nose. Hands off the merchandise. Compared to the size of the finger, it looks like a pillow that? though, isn't it? The head. Roll the dice. Lucky six. Roll the dice. That vector has that. Nearly. Google has that Got as it. well. What's the score? What's the score? Forest Green Rovers. Two. Wolverhampton Wanderers. One. Alright, so text. Our dream That's is to good. help the whole world to flourish with robots. Not just big humans, but small humans too. But we're not there yet. We're still prototypes. Yeah. We need your help to get off the production line and into human hands. <laughs> hey, Baby that's pretty cool. Where did you learn to do that? A human must have taught me. 
Nice. All right, so you could put sound input, I guess. That would be quite interesting. So when are we doing so there's a lot of potential. Video? You can check out our full features and robot history below. Okay. Right. This video is a small example of Pico's near infinite programming possibilities. We are super excited to get them out into the world and see what they'll get up to with you. That's a British um, accent, so I think it's made in, well, it's developed in Britain, which is very nice. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Like, um, unlike one of the main problems about Google uh, Home or Amazon uh, Alexa is that it only has this sort of light coming out, but it hasn't got any facial human-like expression, while well, as this robot does, so it'll provide cloud database just like vector but i don't know how much of a data it will have i don't think it will use the cloud data system that either um google or from um alexa but it will be quite nice to you know somehow to the next stage i guess is to have an integration with that system it'll be really nice it has a note no, nose touching sensor as well so i guess you could alert the robot when it's, it's sleeping different language as well it says on the description below um so i guess there's a lot of potential here and it's i don't think it looks that expensive at all i think may, a lot of things nowadays come down to how much you're willing to spend and surprisingly amazingly a lot of robotics don't turn out to be that expensive that's which, which is really good and it's a prototype so the finish as you can see is a bit rough but i'm sure once they got the good money enough money for them to move on to the next stage you'll be more uh, you know fine quality maybe you could have different colors i'm pretty sure uh, customize uh, union jack and, and etc so uh, i think i have a very positive uh you know vibe about this robot i think it'll be quite interesting i would love to have it on my desk uh, somehow alert me and more human interaction e kind of type sort of robot that is available for Kickstarter so it's it's very beginning stage but I just thought uh, I would alert my viewers not that I actually have communicated with these developer at all but um, as you know my channel is about mainly about robotics starting from vector and gadgets wearable and etc but when it comes to uh, Pico, I just thought it would be, it was one of the um, standing out um, crowdfunding projects. So what do you guys think? Do you, do you, want, do you want to get involved with this um, pledge? Um, let me know your thoughts. And also I would like to see how the trend becomes. Somehow I, I would like to be someone who helped um, reaching that goal. Um, and, and so on. Let's see how it goes. I would like to mainly hear your thoughts. So let me know and uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, good luck for the team Pico and etc. So all the best. Bye bye.